when i finish my house i am going to close down this airbnb and move the country i did not want to but i have to because nope not with jps i'm gonna put solar i'm gonna sell my kidney and put solar in the house that i'm building because i paid the jps bill paid off and i i came home and my light is not on now i call jps and phone keep on cutting off literally nine times before I get through. She said to put on a JPS app on my phone. She told me my balance is $36,003. So now when um, I went on the my JPS app, sign up for it and went on it to ask for an extension. When I look, it was $66,003.64. And I'm like, okay, so my light just come back on because I just came off the phone with the girl. Okay, the light come back on just now. And now when I came up, when I went on the phone, she, I said, how come my bill is 66 something? She said, oh, because your light just cut off again today. And I'm like, all the cut off, they charge you for all the cut off. I said, my girl, had I had money, my light wouldn't cut off, you know. My light wouldn't cut off had I had money. Oh, it's from May 21st, May last year, 2011. They start charging you. So whatever my bill is, that's the cost. So she, I don't, still don't understand because the last girl, I didn't like her at all. I don't like her because she's talking to me like I'm retarded. Uh, she might have a point, but um, it still doesn't matter. She's, I don't understand what she's saying. And her attitude sound like, miss, you can't afford your light bill. Don't let your light cut off. Pay your light. She was like, but your light cut off. I was like, what? I was like, so how am I going to get my light turned on back? Because it said 24 hours well you after you paid you have 24 hours i was like i hang up i hang up i'm not fucking lucky come back on now from the thirty-six thousand, she said she said could you hold let me do some inquiry i was like sure she come back and had another hundred and a thousand something dollars on it i was like where did thousand dollars come from your light just got cut off again girl if i had money jps said i had money my light wouldn't be cutting off or so, $66,003.64 now, I hold JPS, and all the bills are paid. This is just fees, fees, fees. Can you freaking believe? Okay, you see, when I finish that house, I am sorry for myself, but me done the Airbnb. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to try finish that house, put a solar in it, because JPS is freaking up everybody, including myself, big time. No, I'm done with this bitch. I'm so furious. The Jamaican saying, if you poke me with a needle or if you cut me, no blood come. I am so, so freaking upset. Listen, I love my Airbnb. I love what I'm doing, right? I don't even think my Airbnb have anything, anything with that. But JPS, come on. Come the fuck on. You are destroying me. You are destroying everybody else who have a JPS issue. Now, how the frick you're going to give me a bill now for $66,003.56 when I did not use it? You're telling me that is fees because I can't afford my fucking life, so you chop it off, right? But then you're penalizing me. This fucking girl on the line said... JPS billed me for the last two bills. So my bill was 30 something thousand. Yes, and the, the oil and the, the, the taxes and the, all of that that they put on your bill, that's separate. It's just the bill they charge you. So we are charged, I am charged for a bill, 30 something thousand. But then at the end of the day, when they put the oil, the usage, the taxes, and all the freaking shit that they can dig out of them nasty asshole and put on your bill. Right? So last month my bill was 56, not the one, not the 81. The one before was 56,600 and something dollars. So the 30 something thousand, that's what she said, go on the bill. So now my bill, my light cut off. So every time my light cut off, it's the two last bill they tally up and give you. So now my bill is 66,000, not my bill, the, the thing. I don't want to live in country. I refuse to live in country, but JP is going to let me live in country. The man said it's $1.2 million for solar, but he will work with me or whatever, if he's still going to do it. 
to do the solar in my my house that I'm building. I don't have dry sheets on my body if you go build it because of what, three weeks now or, or a month now, no work goes on down there because I'm flat broke. Not JPS fault, that one. It's just that the money I had, I use it by material XYZ. They work and do that and then no money coming in according to plan because everything rent here jps here water bill here not talking of food because meet the people yeah i can't afford not even my own food right so now you're telling me jps is trying to destroy me my little home airbnb i rented two rooms out of my apartment and that's a two room with the ac my room rent on default without ac i don't have the legs for the last two years i don't sleep in ac not one night for the last two years since I live in this house, I can sleep in AC because before I moved here, where I lived at, I, I sleep in AC. No, I can't because I guaranteed you as, as well. My landlord have why I run upstairs in ninth place. Just like when we run the water and I'm paying for the hot water, it run upstairs and downstairs. And downstairs have their own water meter. So my crooked, big gut landlord man have something to do with my, my life. The reason why I believe some, that man upstairs, my landlord, have something to do with the light as well, like perhaps a wire run somewhere. Okay, so this house is designed for one family, right? It, the, the first floor here, this second floor and the top floor, it designed for him to take control of the whole entire house. This meter wasn't there. This wall is knocked out. And the wire run up there behind this granny cabinet and go out. So the wire from the street coming here, that was added on, right? The house was already string up from his meter to do the whole entire thing. So when he decide, before me, before people before me, decide to rent this flat, he just lock his door. I'm the one who put up the room right here. I'm the one who put up the room right there around the steps, right? So when he decided to put an independent breaker here, remember it was already string up from his breaker upstairs. So when he put that only God one and a good electrician can come here and tell me no wire out of that no run go upstairs, okay? And then the reason why I believe so, because the water, when I came here the first month, I wasn't even living here yet. Because I took two weeks to put up that wall and to get the toilet in order. When I came here, the first bill he get, he told me I hope it was forty six thousand. I was like, what? So I paid him twenty five, right? So I took out the toilet from that bathroom and I went and bought a brand new toilet because yes, that toilet was flushing. So all the time I have to turn off the lever under the bottom. So I said, all right, let me change the toilet. When I change the toilet, the water bill go down a little bit. Guess what now? Months and months I'm here. The light bill, it, the water bill, it's up and down, up and down. And I was like, what the frick? Sometimes I'm not even here. Why is the water bill so expensive? Then when I get closer and closer to the gentleman, them downstairs, they said, Champo, turn on your hot water. Huh? Huh? Yeah. We get hot water from you. How? So I took it to him and I said, did you know the hot water pipe run downstairs, but they have their own independent meter? How? No, it never run downstairs. How is that? So I said, where do they get hot water from next door? They, 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 the water from next door come over because that house wasn't there yet. So, did, so how do they get hot water? No, me not understand how that because I have tenants here and my water bill never passed 7,000 and this and that and this and that. But him have a big balance of, of 200 and had thousand dollars where when I moved here in tell me saying who water bill that I'm going to make part two. The reason why I believe some, that man upstairs, my landlord have something to do with the light as well, like perhaps a wire run somewhere. Okay, so this house is designed for one family right it, the, the first floor here this second floor and the top floor it designed for him to take control of the whole entire house this meter wasn't there this wall is knocked out and the wire run up there behind this granny cabinet and go out so the wire from the street coming here that was added on right the house was already string up from his meter to do the whole entire thing. 
So when he decide, before me, before people before me, decide to rent this flat, he just lock his door. I'm the one who put up the room right here. I'm the one who put up the room right there around the steps, right? So when he decided to put an independent breaker here, remember it was already string up from his breaker upstairs. So when he put that only God one and a good electrician can come here and tell me no wire out of that and no run go upstairs. Okay? And then the reason why I believe so, because the water, when I came here the first month, I wasn't even living here yet. Because I took two weeks to put up that wall and to get the toilet in order. When I came here, the first bill he get, he told me I owe, it was 46000 I was like, what? So I paid him twenty five, right? So I took out the toilet from that bathroom and I went and bought a brand new toilet because, yes, that toilet was flushing. So all the time I have to turn off the lever under the bottom. So I said, all right, let me change the toilet. When I change the toilet, the water bill go down a little bit. Guess what now? Months and months I'm here. The light bill, it, the water bill, it's up and down, up and down. And I was like, what the frick? Sometimes I'm not even here. Why is the water bill so expensive? Then when I get closer and closer to the gentleman them downstairs, they said, Champo, turn on the hot water. Huh? Huh? Yeah. We get hot water from you. How? So I took it to him and I said, did you know the hot water pipe run downstairs? But they have their own independent meter. How? No, it never run downstairs. How is that? So I said, where do they get hot water from? Next door? They, 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 the water from next door come over because that house wasn't there yet. So, did, so how do they get hot water? No, me not understand how that because I have tenants here and my water bill never passed 7000 and this and that and this and that. But him have a big balance of, of 200 and had $1,000 where when I moved here, he tell me saying, oh, water bill that I'm going to make part two. So the water. Downstairs have their own water meter. This is part two. I'm so angry, and I know when you're angry, you don't say shit because you might say the wrong shit and put you and everybody else in trouble. But that's the only time I can remember what to say, okay? So, downstairs have their own water meter. This house has two meter. The criminal said, right? When I asked, so where's my own meter? He said, Muffy Santi only give each house two meter, which I don't believe that. Because there's other houses around there and they have three meters, four meters because they use their property for, 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 for rental purposes. So I don't see how the owner for the estate, Mofisanti, is going to only give him two meter and then everybody else get more meter. Anyways, that meter, the person downstairs getting like, so me and the person went upstairs and said it to him, bought the water. How is that possible? No, sir. I, mean, I was like, I get, he called me last year and said he get a water bill. And my portion is 18000 I said, no. I said, no. The month before, which was August, my daughter was here. You give me a light bit, water bill, and you said it's 14000 and I paid it. Because me now have a time to argue with ignorant people because me more ignorant than you right now. Right? So I said, I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that. My daughter left. Nobody's here. Nobody is freaking here. So I don't use so much water. Mind you. Because I know from I come here that I'm dealing with a shafty old bastard. I don't flush my toilet when I do number one. Number one pee? Yeah. Like I do number one three times before I flush. And when I shower, I used to stand up in the shower and bathe myself like, like for long. I don't do it. I cut my showers and I, sh and I flush hardly because I know when I guests come here, I can't tell them to do the same. So I have to cut back on my water usage. So when guests come here, they, 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 whatever. Anyways, um, when me and the guy go to him upstairs and tell him about the water, oh, so Champo, all you do, you take money from him. Why, why, am, why am I taking money from the neighbor downstairs for water bill? Hmm? I said, cut off the water, figure a way out to cut it off. You can't cut it off because you want the criminal water person Plumber who run this house from Wapiki Philip, if I feel your house, run the hot water all the way. So the, the hot water, I control it. If I don't turn on water upstairs and downstairs don't get hot water, I cannot bathe with cold water. I have issues. My skin scratch me like lice in it. Had I could bathe in cold water, I would have bathed in cold water. But I can't. Even if I go to the river, 
and I use soap on my skin with the cold water, my skin scratch like, like lice under my skin. So if I use the pipe water to bathe the cold, my skin hitches like a bitch. I guess I'm done now with this shit because three minutes ain't long enough. Bye, guys. I'm fucking tired.